han sido y han saucer A los 15 años yo vi y me metí en el refuerzo Es de la coda sonora pasando más de 300 Desde Tucson hasta Cali la finiquera moviendo Barrios los mojados con los cholos controlando Vámonos pa' Carolina y que me toque los legados Una casita escondida What's up gang? What's up everybody? It's your boy back with another last minute little quick video Alright so right now I'm painting something I'm painting a mirror uh, painting a, a, a mirror, pearl white for a Lincoln Town car. Let me put my seatbelt on so that I don't be beeping the whole time. All right, so I'm painting the mirror for a Lincoln Town car. I got everything set up, ready to go. Paint mix, everything clean, ready to go. Um, I go to grab my paint gun to go put the the cup on it because I already put the paint in the cup. Sorry, I'm talking slow. I'm tired. I've been running nonstop all week. Uh, I want to go put the paint cup on the gun. Finally realized that I, I left my damn air cap from my gun at work. Terrible. On both of my guns, I left them at work sitting in a little cup where I put thinner in so they can sit, so they can clean. Anyways, so I have to get this mirror painted. I, I Unfortunately, I don't have the keys to the shop this weekend. Look at my dog BJ. And my dog down bad. Dirty as hell. I can't give him a ride. Though. I'm sorry, BJ. But anyways, so I can't get my my air cap. So today I'm gonna do a video on painting with a Harbor Freight gun. I went and picked up the 27 or 29 dollar gun. I can't remember what it cost. Let me see real quick. Uh, that ain't it. I think it was like 29 bucks. So I bought the 29 dollar gun just to paint this damn mirror um they had other models from some for like 300 bucks i ain't about to pay no 300 fucking bucks for a harbor freight gun i'm sorry i don't care if it sprays like a brand new one i'd rather save my money and buy me a good gun but i got good guns but like i said they're the air capture at work so today i'm gonna do a review on this harbor freight uh gun man let's see if we can actually get some nice paint out of it i guess normally i paint with my solder 3000s I got a nice set I've been using for years, rebuilding them for years. I love them. My go-to gun. There's other better guns out there, but I just love those guns. I'm used to them. I can set the air without even looking at it. I can set it with just hearing it. So today, let's see if we can knock out some badass paint with this little Harbor Freight gun. So stay tuned today. So uh, I'm going to paint it in the, sh in the little shop right there in my house. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to set up this gun set the needle i'll teach you how to set up the needle that way y'all can buy a harbor freight gun and start painting too i need to start doing more videos like this all right all right so we got the air cup cup air regulator okay i've been using one with that one for so long using with that one for so long man i barely even need to hear the i can just hear it and i can tell where it's at Got my trusty little fan. It's ready to spray. I'm spraying that in here. Um, tool, the little screen, and a little gun, a little brush. When you're setting your trigger, loosen it all the way. Not all the way. Okay, then you squeeze the trigger. And then you want to tighten your needle, your fluid needle, till you feel it hit the trigger. So the more you go, the more it's going to pull your finger forward and the more it's going to close up that air cap. So they always tell me in school to push it, to turn it until you feel it push your finger a little bit. Alright, got that set. Um, let's check out the air cap, make sure everything is good in here. I don't want to figure out something's wrong halfway through it. But there's oil everywhere, so before you put paint in it, you're going to want to clean it. I'm going to have to clean this thing. And then our nice little air cap, or air cup. Alright, so let's just get this thing sprayed. I got some gun cleaner here. And uh, now we can get ready to paint. 
So first coat laid with the Harbor Freight gun. I'm not gonna lie, it laid out pretty nice. I was surprised. Harbor Freight it came a long way. This is base coat. Don't forget, this is base coat. I got like two coats of base. I'm gonna throw some pearl on it, and then I'm gonna clear it. But not too bad, to be honest. I even left out the best part. I'm using a Harbor Freight McGraw compressor. Three gallons, 110 PSI from Harbor Freight. Also to match with the gun. Let this dry out, put another coat or two, and then hit it with the pearl. So I got the first coat of base laid. No, not the first coat. This is like three or four coats of base. I'm not going to lie. It laid out pretty damn nice. Pretty damn smooth. Not bad for a Harbor Freight gun. So this is a three-stage paint. That is the base. I'm about to lay the pearl right now. Get that thrown in the tub. Get a, maybe like two coats of pearl on there. And then get it cleared and get out of here. Again, I'm in my little shop back here. I've never painted in this thing. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. So I am using water-based paint, meaning that its main base is water instead of solvent. So the good thing about it is I can uh, just use water to clean my gun out. We back, getting my clear mixed up. at a noble Dynaco Clear Pro. I love this clear. Look how clear it is. They don't have no yellow tint to it like some do. Got our mirror um, all covered and I uh, got two, I think three coats of um, pearl, the tri-stage. And right, now we are ready to clear it. Honestly, man, this little Harbor Freight gun, it ain't letting me down. Let's see how the care comes out. Well, there you guys have it. Look at that thing. Came out like glass. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's a little foggy in here, so I'm going to try to record real quick and get out. But two coats of clear with a little damn Harbor Freight uh, compressor somewhere around here. And mirror. Look at that. Came out really nice. Pearl white. All right, so I'm going to let this dry, cut off the lights so no bugs get in here, let this dry, and um, I'll give you all my last overall thought of this uh, of this uh, little Harbor Freight gun, man. There she is. I ain't going to lie, that shit looked pretty good. Not bad for a fucking Harbor Freight gun. I got one run that ruins it. God damn. But overall, that shit came up pretty clean. Let's get it up. Let's get it off of there. It's the next morning. Nice and sunny outside, early morning. Let's get this thing off of there and take a look at it in the sunlight. Overall, you can get a clean ass paint job with the Harbor Freight gun. It's my first time painting with one. Thing came out pretty damn wet. So yeah, you can put out some heat with a Harbor Freight gun if needed. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what else y'all want to learn or see and uh, I'll get it knocked out. Appreciate you guys.